Okay, let's say that you don't have Notepad++, but you want to go ahead and install that on your PC. All you have to do is bring up a web browser. And then just search for Notepad++. The first hit, you'll end up having the actual Notepad++ oops, uh, homepage. Click on that, and then pretty much just click on download. Uh, like this is a free version of software, and this is going to be a very powerful tool, especially when using to edit programs or especially the PLC programming, because you can have it to where you can have various different things being set. And we're we're even going to show you how you're going to have it set up to where uh, you will actually compile in the PL in the actual Notepad software rather than uh, escaping out to the command prompt and doing it by by typing everything in. All you'd have to do is just hit a button and boom, it would compile the PLC program. Okay. So another thing too is after you download and install Notepad++, Centroid has a tech bulletin that shows how to be able to actually set up the Notepad++ for uh, PLC programming use. Basically, on the main centroidcnc.com website, just go ahead and click on to the shop DIY. It'll take you to the DIY section. Then on here for the DIY CNC's report, click on CNC technical bulletins. All right. And if you wanted to, you could go in here uh, and just do a search for Notepad++. But as of right now, I can see that right here, it says configuring Notepad++ as a G-Code editor, this tech bulletin. Click on that and pretty much follow the instructions on there. Oh. Oops, it went to the wrong page. Let's bring that over here. Okay. So we're going to go over on setting up Notepad. Okay. First thing I'm probably going to want to do is go ahead and follow it. We've got the thing open. Let's go ahead, open Notepad. And it's telling me to go into settings preferences and then on here auto completion I'm checking off the enable auto completion on each input word completion has been checked and we go into the from uh, number of characters we enter in number three and then this doesn't actually need any kind of save all you have to do is just close it and it automatically saves it okay then after you've uh, installed the, or you can easily come down here and click on this link from the Tech Bulletin. As you can see, as I hover over it, it's got a little icon on there that allows me to click on that zip file. It will actually then install. And then once it's finished uh, downloading, I can then extract the contents into my actual CNCM if I'm using the mill or the CNTT if I'm using the lathe, just as it says here in the tech bulletin. Great, looks like it finished. Bring this down, let's go find it. Okay. Let's go ahead, go to my downloads. And look, here it is. So, what I'm going to end up doing is saying extract. Ah, there we go. Unzip. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and highlight, right click on the .zip file and select extract all. And of course, move over here. We're going to change because by default it's going to want to extract it into a folder with the same name as the .zip file. We're going to change that and move it to where we tell it to go into the CNCM directory. Once we select the CNCM directory, say OK, verify that that is in fact where it's going to go, and then just click on Extract. Okay. Of course, I've already done this before, so 
Right now it's saying, hey, these files already exist. Do you want to replace them? Uh, when you guys go and do it for the first time, you're not going to see this message. All right. Once it's done, it'll take you on there. And it'll have all the files associated that we're going to need in the Notepad++. All right. Let me exit out of that. Okay. So now, continue on with that tech bulletin. I'm going to go in here. Go to language. Define language. Click on import. And pretty much select the cnc.xml. Okay. Successful. Then I'm also going to do the same exact thing with the plc.xml. Excellent. Then once again, there's, there's no need to save, just exit out of that. All right. Now, we typically want to go into settings, preferences, and file association. Go to customize, and we're going to start putting in uh, various different customizations that we want the, the file extensions that we want Notepad++ to be associated with. We want anything like dot cnc uh, looks like i already have the dot src file in there but dot cnc dot plc because as i said once you compile it uh you could open the thing up with an actually text editor um, dot mac these are essentially our custom macros like anytime you call out let's say an m3 it's going to run this mfunk number three dot mac. So all custom macros will typically have this extension on there. Uh, and then dot txt as well. Okay. okay. So now we're going to also set this notepad plus plus to try to compile. So we're going to go into the plugin manager and we are going to search for this NPP exec. Select that. Click install. Okay, let's go ahead, restart. Okay. Back into this. Oh, plugins, manager. So, music. Install. Would you like to update? No. Okay, so now we're going to go back into plugins and NPP exec and then click on execute. Okay, so now we're going to type in the command that's in the tech folder.
Okay. And click OK. Perfect. Looks like it compiled the command and everything is good. All right. Now we're going to configure some syntax highlighting. Let's exit out of that. Okay, now we have Notepad++ properly configured to compile and to show various uh, errors and warnings in different colors. So we are ready to go ahead and start working on modifying or customizing the SRC file.